welcome to this unboxing video i must begin this video by apologizing for the extremely unprofessional method that is going to take place in i've been let down by amazon i ordered the adapter uh, for a tripod for my phone but that has not yet arrived and the jersey has arrived ahead of it and i've waited over five days now with the jersey in the box not to open it and i can't wait any longer so i do apologize for the unprofessionalness of this first unboxing on this channel but uh, we're going to get into it. So today I am unboxing the centenary edition of the Football Association of Ireland jersey. Uh, I've purchased this through Elbury's Intersport. Uh, it retails for €82 Euro and it comes in a special edition collector's box. So just to run through it quickly, it's uh, described as St. Patrick's Blue. Uh, it's a very simple design. It's got a shamrock crest that used to be used by the team and uh, it's got a kind of blue umbral logo as we'll see in due course they also have a yellow goalkeeping edition i don't have that at the moment but to just quickly run through it this jersey as i've mentioned is celebrating the centenary of the football association of ireland or the fai and uh, this jersey i believe it is a throwback to the first jersey ever worn by the nation uh, it's got a short sleeve with a crew neck a ribbed collar and sleeves um engineering mesh to leave our skin breathe well my skin breathe uh, heat transferred umbro logo and an embroidered fai crest and it's got an exclusive presentation box to mark the occasion and it's made of 100 percent polyester so without further ado i'm going to get into the unboxing of this very special jersey i should also note as well before i begin that this jersey will be worn by the team in an upcoming friendly against qatar at the aviva stadium uh, that should be next week Okay, so here we are, as we can see, there's a shamrock very clearly on there. It's well packaged, well taped up. So as we can see the, this box, uh, presentation box, it's not just a plain green box. They seem to have taken quite a bit of time on Bro in fairness to them for this one. As we can see, 1921, the year the FAI first came into existence. And you can see on the front, I'll show you a better look at this as soon as I get outside of the other protective plastic. So very clearly the lid. The simple shamrock logo 1921 2021 then we've got 1921 on this side the other side 2021 as you can imagine we've got a nice little just very faded uh, how should i describe it's the just kind of muted but nice little detail there of the shamrock and the umbro logo the back of the box is completely plain so now it's time to get into the real deal and have a look at this jersey. And a nice little detail of 100 years on this magnetic strip. Okay. So as we can see, the special little card included. Featuring some of the old stadiums, Lansdowne Road, Croke Park, of course, where the national team played. Well, the Aviva Stadium, or Lansdowne Road, it was formerly known as becoming the Aviva Stadium, was under construction. And uh, yeah, it just explains the RDS Arena, Turner's Cross, Daly Mount Park, Lansdowne Road, the Maradike, Croke Park, Thoman Park, Flower Lodge, Aviva Stadium and Tolka Park. Uh, presumably these are all stadiums where the national team has played at one stage or another over the years. So that's a very nice touch from Umbro on this one. And as we can see, a nice little bit of packaging here, paper with the 100 years, 1921, 2021 and the Shamrock. Nice little gold ribbon as well. We'll just peel this back, and there we have it. There's the jersey. Just to give you a nice look at the crest there. I will be putting this on a mannequin just so you'll be able to see it better yourselves. So obviously that's a little bit of protective packaging. 
and there is the Umbro logo. So we're now going to put this on a mannequin so you'll be able to see it better than if I just lay it out on the ground. Okay, so here we have it on the mannequin or the tailor's dummy. We're going to get a nice close-up here now of the crest. Really, really like the work that's been done on this. Um, very much embroidered. A nice touch, you know, it really does harp back it, almost as if it was a jersey of that era. Very nice detailing on it and a nice large crest. Um, obviously reminiscent of the, the, the era that this jersey is uh, commemorating. The umbro is nice and subtle as well. It's not white, it's not standing out. It just blends into the jersey, the overall color. As you can see, there is um, a nice material effect as well. It's very subtle, it's, it's not a very loud polyester. It's a, it's a very nice. On the neck, there is a single uh, button on the neck, just hidden inside there, well protected as well. As you can see the detailing on the neck, a very nice crew collar, very well done by Umbro again. Uh, it, look, it's not the most amazing jersey. It is just a, a throwback to the era. Um, there's not a lot of details on it. It's nice and simple, and that's exactly what you want from a jersey like this, in my opinion. You don't want it to be too loud. You just want it to obviously commemorate the 100 years. Uh, showing you the sleeve detailing now. Again, nothing much on the cuffs just very plain. So, so having a look at the back of the jersey again, very, very plain, no real detailing. The only thing to note is 1921, obviously the founding year of the FAI is uh, on the back of the neck there, just below the collar. Again, nothing really special, uh, you know, no no player name or anything has been printed on it. It'll be interesting to see what sort of a, a name set they do go for when they go for it, uh, when they play against Qatar. But uh, yeah, that really is the jersey. A nice, simple jersey from Umbro to commemorate the 100 years of the FAI. A very special commemorative box as well with a nice touch of the paper featuring the years, the shamrock. Really, really professional. It's the first time I can remember Umbro and Ireland coming together for this. Obviously, they had the split there when uh, Ireland were supplied by New Balance, but they're back with Umbro. They had a cracking home and away jersey there that harked back to the Italian 90 kind of style, especially the away jersey. And uh, Umbro have done a stellar job with this one. So like, thank you for watching. Again, my apologies for the somewhat unprofessional beginning. Hopefully that'll be rectified by the time we go through the next jersey. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.